Shaheem Reed here. Um, very, very serious times that uh, we're in, especially within the past uh, 48 hours. Um, protests going on all across the country. I've been glued to MSNBC, watching the brothers and sisters protest in Miami. Actually, right now, as we speak, Philadelphia, New York, our hometown, uh, all over, Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, we have one of the most profound speakers in all of hip hop. Mano is here. How you feeling, bro? Uh, I'm good, man. Um, you know, I'm I'm just concerned. Um, I'm in, inspired, and uh, I, you know, it's, it's just a lot going on, man. With with, yeah. with all of this, uh, tell me, tell me about you, man. Just watching everything transpiring, especially in the past uh, forty eight hours. Um, for me, it's. You use the word inspire, and that's I, I felt that way, you know. Um it's hard to it's hard to see some of the stuff that we, we, we have to see with a lot of these videos and not have an opinion. I never looked at myself as a as a super political person. I never looked at myself as being even in that field. I always looked at myself as being somewhat woke, somewhat aware, you know, knowledgeable on certain things, and I kept it like that. But it's hard to come on social media and and about you know nothing when when a lot is going on. Like I woke up that morning and saw that video, which I didn't even realize was I, I, when I first looked at it. I didn't know it was a new video, and then it, it and, and it came out that it was new. And then you know it's that you too right you, because you, so much stuff comes out. It's just like what is this an old video? Like you don't know and. For me, it was just like, damn, like it's hard. Like as an artist, like you you always want to try to maintain the line between real life and being and being, you know, creative. But for it's like, how could I go downstairs and record with this on my mind and not be able to express myself on how I really feel? Because it's hard not to. It's hard to get on social media. It's hard to have a conversation. It's hard that to to you know, um, um, speak to your friends and not, and it not come up because it, it affects you. It, 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 being a young black male and raising our young black males is like, it's just, it's just a lot, bro. But seeing what's going on, I, I am inspired. It makes you want to do more. Um, I'm, I'm trying to put together some things on, on my side that, that, uh, lend, lend some help to, to the cause. You know, I've been I've been inspired to do things that I've never thought I would ever do before. Honestly, yeah. Well, you you hit you hit me on the DM the other day, man, and you're one of the first artists to actually respond with your specialty, man, music. Right. You know, right. one one of the things that um I always say to my friends that's artists, man, is that you know sometimes they don't know how to react when things like this happen, man, and. I'm like, yo, you got to put some of that pain down. Put that pain, right? It's hard not to. Yeah, man. yeah. Not how can we not? Yeah, how can we not? We I couldn't. We couldn't. We couldn't see that. I, that happened on what Monday? I made I made that song on Tuesday, right? And it's like, how could I not? I can't come down here and talk about being in the club. I can't come down here and talk about a girl right now because this is this is it just eats at your at your soul, it just eats at your spirit, knowing that. This could be anybody. This could be your friend. This could be your nephew. It could be your uncle. It could even be you. It could be me. Yeah. I mean, you know, you, you said when you first saw the footage, and we're talking about, for the people watching this, we're talking about George Floyd. He was killed on Memorial Day in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. He was stopped by the police. I'm sure everybody has seen the footage, uh, horrific footage at that of the officers not just detaining him, um, not just holding him down, but they had his, their knees in his back, and one of the officers had then had his knee on his neck. George pled for his life, man. We literally watched somebody plead for their life and die. He couldn't. He could not breathe. Right, right. Now you know you playing with your homie, and you you grabbing your yo. I can't breathe. Chill out. Like that's just like. Human instinct. If somebody's telling you that they can't breathe, you let up. 
Yeah. And the, the, what's so disrespectful is that they already had him. It was already four police on him. He already handcuffed to his he back and ran on his stomach. Right? What 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 are we doing? What are we doing? Like, if that's not a blatant a, a blatant display of overzealous, over aggressive, total disregard of of black life, let alone of a human life. I don't know what else is like. What else you need to see? Because the, the people, the, that girl was seventeen years old saying, "What are you doing? He he, he can't breathe. He's he's gonna you're gonna kill that man." You you hear sensible people, but yet you still you look right there. You got your yeah. hand in your pocket, which to me looks like that's a that's a way of putting more pressure. And if you look closely, he he urinated on himself. That's that looked like you that that yeah. that. That leakage over there looks like urination to me. Under yeah. the under the truck. I can't see it at this angle. When he when he pans over, you can see it. Right. You know? And, and you know, this comes on the hill heels of we haven't healed from Eric Garner. We haven't nah. healed from Trayvon nah. Martin. This generation is bro. This is, this is this is centuries, bro. We just like come on, like let's it's 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 so many examples of this. He's never stopped. He's never stopped. It's, it's just generations of, of pain, of brutality, of disrespect, of murder, lies. And the system has never been set up for us to get the, the type of justice that we that we always deserve. We watched them kill Eric Garner in this, almost the same way. I can't breathe. I yeah. can't breathe. That's some that's some human shit. I can't breathe. So if your job is to is to be a police officer, your job is to if I did something wrong, take me to jail. Your job is not to kill me. Your job is not to hurt me. Right. Your job is not to hurt me physically. Why why is it that you're trying to hurt me physically? And to, to top it off, man, we still don't have concrete evidence of what George did in the first place. I don't care what he did, bro. You're right. What right. He did don't even matter because your job is not to be judge, jury, and executioner. It don't matter what he do. You see, when, when people start talking about, oh, he did this, it don't even matter. I don't care if he was leaving the scene and he just robbed the bank and, and smacked the pistol over the teller head. Like, that's one ain't got nothing to do with it. You do crime, you go to prison. Like, that's that's it's like checks and balances. I got my job, I'm I'm the fucking criminal. You the you the you the, you the, you, the, you the, uh you the policeman. If you catch me, take me to prison. You hurting me and killing me is a whole nother ball game. Yeah. So it doesn't so for me, it doesn't matter what he did. Like they saying it was a alleged fraud check, which makes it like, come on, man. Let yeah. it just go to show you, bro. It just go to show you they disregard how they really, really feel about us. I mean, man, when I when I looked at the, the officer's eyes, man, yes. I, I literally did not see a soul. There you go. Like, he's looking like so out of it. At the same time that the people are talking to him, and then the officers that was with him, it's just like, do you do no? Is nobody thinks this wrong? Like no, the man is saying it's one thing if he wasn't saying nothing. Let's let's just give it the benefit of the doubt. If he wasn't saying nothing. The man is saying, my stomach, I, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Please, I can't breathe. You're supposed to have some type of compassion, not just as a police officer, but as, as a human, human being. as a human being, man. Um, we, we've seen this time and time again, unfortunately, man. But this one, these these protests are, are feeling a little bit different, man. Yeah, people tired, bro. They tired. They tired. And here's my thing about about that. Right. So now what happens is, is that, you know, the narrative starts to change. It starts to be like. Um, uh, 
yo, we respect the, the peaceful protests and this and that, you know, destroying the property. And I'm not saying the looting and all that is the right thing to do, but, but what I will say is this, you can't stand on somebody's head for years on on top of years and then and then get to tell them how to how to respond to you. Right. You can't lock somebody up, beat on them for years, and then say, okay, I know you're angry, but just write write your concerns down on paper. I don't want you going crazy on me. You don't get you 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 don't get to you don't get that uh, that 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 the liberty to do that. You don't get the to tell anybody how they should handle their emotions because the response that we're seeing is an emotional one, most of it. And I'm not here to measure what's right and what's wrong because I'm pretty sure we all got an idea of, of what, what it should look like. But a lot of that's emotional, man. You can't tell somebody how to, how to that's rage, bro. That's what rage look like. That's, that's, that's been, been suppressed. Some of them kids got family members and, and relatives and friends and people that lost people that's been watching this. It's like don't you I, I was watching I was watching CNN. They on Fairfax burning a cop truck in front of the police. And a lot of and a lot of them is kids, they young in their 20s, but they 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 raging like it's people tired, bro. Yeah, how, how, how much could you take? Before somebody is completely lost all sense of what's right and what's wrong, because the majority of those people out there is not criminals, bro. They're not criminals. Yeah, those are reg those are those are citizens. Those are the citizens that's that's tired, tired of the systemic, racist, brutal nonsense, man. Yeah, but then also, oh, they they, they said uh, your head is getting cut off a little bit by the camp. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, you know, also too, I've been, I've been watching MSNBC and they talk about these infiltrators, these right. anarchists that's coming that. in. You know, that's really the ones that's hitting these black-owned stores and yes, I you know, that. speak I on that. that. Agent provocateur. They always use those. Cointel Pro, my nigga. They always use agent provocateurs. They always sent them in there to stir shit up, divide and conquer. So while 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 a peaceful protest is going on, you got a couple of people that's really angry, and then then, then you got those agents sliding in there to add more uh, destruction and to stir it up even more. Yeah, I agitate this. Agitate this. Yeah, agi yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, I believe that. I saw. I saw. Uh, it was a. Um, I don't know. Who she was. She was Hispanic. She was from Minneapolis. I think she was a senator. She was like, yeah. She was talking about it. She was like, uh, yeah. Some people coming in here, and, and you know, and she she identified them as being white supremacists. Hmm. I wouldn't be right? surprised. So that's what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying because we already know white supremacists on on they on both sides though. They on mm -hmm. they on the side of the law. Like a dude like this guy, who's to say that his friend, his friends is not white supremacist? Yeah, we can't tell. Dude, one, tell. One, one of the things that's that's crazy though too is that um, th they was breaking down when when the when the police station in Minnesota uh, got burned down. They said that it was it wasn't like somebody just walked up to the police station and in a fit of rage just do like a Molotov cocktail and something like that. They said it was very professional right. how, they, how they set those fires. It was very strategic where they actually set it on fire. I believe it, bro. They they supposedly identified one of them. I've seen I some footage, that. I've seen some pictures, and even a lady was saying that they have pictures, they have identified some people as being some some, some agents. Some being some some agitators, you know some, you know some people that's been injected, whether they're uh, on law enforcement, if they're part of law enforcement, or they're part of just you know white supremacist 
taking the opportunity to try to make this bigger so it could be more of a war and divide it even more. Um, yeah, I believe it. 